we're getting into here. We got a, a probably a pretty bad crash that happened in the tunnel. Um, they've got us coming in the opposite direction through traffic, so we're going to be in the uh, the northbound lane, uh, and then we're going to try to back up and come into the back side of the tunnel. Uh, just thought I'd give you a little information before we got there. And it might be bad. It might be something that doesn't go on camera, but then we're going to come in the wrong way to see if we can get. They said that hit a it hit a barrier, so I'm not sure. Okay, uh, you heard it there. Uh, we are now in the northbound lane and we're going to back up to the wreck.
if they want to come and get like car seats and stuff out of it, then they're just gonna have to work that out with you guys. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that's fine. I, what I would do though, I don't know how y'all know. Whatever they take out, I'd have them right down that way. They don't. Yeah. I know. Yeah, we. Uh, Technically, they're not supposed to reuse those car seats, are they, after an accident? Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know how it works because there's no kids in them. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that works. But, yeah, we, we, we'll inventory all that stuff out for sure. Probably just have to sit there and soak. Honestly, this ain't even our jurisdiction. I know. I was kind of surprised to get the call for well, the THP uh, and the county couldn't get down to it, so we just drove the wrong way. Like, drove down through the dirt and got here. And I just told my guy to go ahead and work it. So yeah, it happens sometimes. Yeah, I, I would just leave that piled up right there and let it soak. Maybe it'll soak in. Uh, All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get out of your way. Thank you, man. Be safe. Okay, guys. Welcome back. We are um, we're here with the rollback, and uh, we've got the Kia offloaded here. From my understanding, they came and hit a barrier. Gosh, how far back were they? I'm not sure where they hit the barrier, but there was a line that was way back, and I, I couldn't even see the beginning of it. So I don't know. Look so, at that wheel. Yeah. So there was transmission fluid that was golly, it was way back. So whatever barrier they hit. This thing, the, the vehicle itself, <laughs> continued to travel a very long ways before it came to rest in the tunnel. So that's just crazy, guys. Look at the, you know, in a in a standpoint of fixing. I fixed a lot of cars, guys. I'm back, you know, uh, my younger years. We used to go to Copart and IAA, and we would bid on these auctions. And I would I would buy cars and and bring them back to the shop and fix them, and my goodness i would be i would be tickled to repair this car actually because i mean it ripped the fender off at structural frame damage there's i mean the hood's fine yeah there's not really anything right there on the on the main frame rail it looks like uh ripped obviously it ripped the wheel off um that's the inner structure of the wheel and the, the actual wheel that bolts on is, is still out here um i don't know where the other <laughs> that's all that's left of the wheel I'm not sure what happened to the rest of the wheel, but uh, transmission fluid would be my. I'm guessing it busted the pan, so it's probably going to need probably going to need a pan and um, it's the axle, so it's going to need an axle and some suspension work. But golly, yeah, I didn't even. I mean, if it put a scratch on the hood, I'd be really surprised. I don't think it did. I think it just peeled that back. It did get the door though. So, but the door's probably. Terrible. Mm -hmm. They'd R&R &R that door and and call it good. I push that back some. I had to shut that door when we got there. It looks a little it looks a little wonky right there on the. But all in all, lucky folks, they had some car seats in there. I don't think there was any kids involved. The officer said that there were no kids. You might want to give the backstory on this just in case we can't show what leading up to this was, what this call was. Yeah, it came as a as a PD call on the on the spur in the tunnel. They uh, they told us to uh, to go ahead and come in on the northbound lane uh, in reverse, so we could actually get to the vehicle. Uh, it was inside the tunnel, so we responded and we and uh, we got the truck in the in the tunnel and got it scooped up and back here to the to the lot. So, okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a uh PD call in for, uh, this is a winch out, a truck and a trailer at the end of uh, town here in Gatlinburg. So we'll get down here and see what we can do. It started raining, I don't know, a couple hours ago. Probably a little soft. We should be getting close though. It is 2.41 a.m., which is always fun. I don't know how Gatlinburg, Gatlinburg doesn't control down here, so. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe up to this point they do. Oh, I see something up here. So, let's, let's, do you see it up there? I think you need, oh, I'm not entirely sure which way you needed to go. He says, 
Come on. Come on across. Hello. Hey guys. Did not expect you to be this far over here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he did because his trailer is blocking the road and he's oh. up in here, but he's sober. Goodness. Oh my goodness. And it's just two wheel drive and he's just spinning wheels. Okay. He's inside it. Okay. okay. Do you want to pull him back? I mean, I mean, he's gonna have to hook back up to his trailer because he's got to get it out of the uh, table. Yeah, well, yeah. He's got that whole lane blocked over there with oh, that trailer. Oh my goodness! Wow. Okay. So I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll just pull him back over here into this lane and then see if we can hook him up over here where we're at. Okay. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's weird. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> Hello. Well, it looks like you tried to get it wiggled out, right? Yeah, I tried. I could uh, get it. I'm already muddy if you want me to get it. Okay. I just want to look at it here. Just a second. Trailer. I picked my trailer up with a thing, but it's the tires. Is there something I was... The tires is like... Because I can't turn There's it. something wrong with the tires? I don't know. Because I can't turn it for some reason. Oh. See, okay. I'm, I don't know what's wrong with it. Hmm. Did it lock up on you? Is that how you ended up over there in the ditch? No, uh, I was going. I've had GPS on these cars. Been messing with me on the since uh, Ocala, Florida, and they just these people just been messing with me. Oh, uh, okay. Just needed to go that way instead of this way, right? Yeah. That was, yeah. Um, so I figured I'd cut through the grass and go back, get back on track. Yeah. Because I'm so scared of the dark out here. And nope. What's that? <laughs> it's a freaking frog. Looks like a frog. I think it's a bird. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Um, all right. Well, we'll get your truck over here yeah. and then we'll we'll get it all over here. He said that the trailer for some reason didn't want to roll. That's not what what caused him to get over here. But he said the wheels were acting funny on his trailer. Um, yeah, if you just want to put it into neutral, okay. and just start steering my way.
I'm just gonna pull forward and then let him go get his trailer. Unknown caller. Everything auto. Hey, excuse me, do you guys have any uh, tires with you? We do not. Uh, so. Thanks. So if that guy needs a tire at 3 o'clock in the morning, is he gonna back up to his trailer? Yeah. Okay. What in the world is going on with his truck? That's weird. The trailer looked fine to me. He's playing with his I know, that's what he was trying to say to me, but it looked fine to me. Did it look okay to you? Okay. I'm not a trailer expert or anything, but so I could be very wrong. I don't know. Hold right there. Watch that stabby thing. It's weird, ain't it, man? It's just got a bunch of weight on it, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's gonna... You're gonna have to come... Uh, yeah, cut her hard. Cut her hard my way here. Watch that chainsaw right there. By your head. Yep. There you go. Hard right. Come back, come back, hard right, hard as you can. Whoa, right there. Let's still be able to get it. It's closed, but. You need to push? Where are you trying to get to? You're trying to get to Pigeon Forge? No, I'm part trying to get to the freaking left. I um, had freaking uh, in the Ocala, man, people are messing with me, the, the outlaws, and they freaking literally, man, are forced. I can't beat them. And well, I'm they, I've been making, I made reports, and everybody don't believe me. And well, I'm sorry oh, to hear that. Oh, that sucks. Um. Here, this, uh, this, this one. You get, oh, okay. This one's well, you can go straight this way and still get to where you're going. Okay. So I it, mean, I, yeah. I didn't do nothing to the outlaws either. I don't know why they literally hate me, man. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. And and I can't and I can't escape them. And they're freaking. They just keep on, man. I can't even go nowhere. You dropped some paper there. Oh, that's my toilet, man. Yeah, you don't want to lose that. That's important. Everything I freaking my camper and everything, man. So, man, say a prayer for me, guys. Everybody, officer, please. It will this thing. I don't know what this thing. Let's will make do. sure it'll move. This yeah, is this see a if good idea. Pull forward just a little bit. Is this I have a, to keep my motorcycle so I don't roll. Okay, it's just full of screws. Oh, what tire is acting weird? It's just a tra it's a tandem axle trailer. Okay. Yeah. It okay. Was just, it was just weird in a bind right there on the. All right. On that piece. All right, we'll get him a ticket. Get him out of here. Took a wrong turn. He's gonna take the bypass. <laughs> the wrong turn, guys. So a little two-wheel drive pickup truck there. Uh, that trailer was like a big boat anchor with a with all of the. the I mean, you just sink. You'd sink up to your kneecaps right there in the with all of the rain and stuff that we've had for the weather. But we got him pulled out. Um, it was an easy pull, straightforward. Uh, you know, just like the officer said, if we he'd had four-wheel drive, he probably could have walked his way out of there. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have been in trouble. But um, poor guy. I, I I feel really bad for him. You know, he just got turned around, and his, uh, his GPS has got him going crazy, crazy places. And it sounded like he had a lot going on in life. I'm not sure what that situation was, but uh, he was he was a little nervous and he was a little freaked out about, um, I don't know what to say, life, life in general. 
Yeah, the fog, <laughs> the fog in the mountains had him concerned, and he uh, yeah. he said uh, he said uh, the outlaws put dry ice in front of him to try and slow him down, and <laughs> I think he was just upset. I think he was weirded yeah. himself out, and you know how it is. Sounds like Florida, maybe. Uh, was just a bad time for him there but he's got he's got all of his stuff loaded up and he said he's he said he had some friends up there that uh, hopefully will take care of him because that's what he needs he needs somebody that's gonna gonna look after him and take care of him so anyway uh it is 10 after 3 3 a.m and this is what happens in gatlinburg at 3 a.m not a whole lot actually it's uh it's a little dead we've got the trash trucks and things like that that run around and and try to get things ship shape for you at 8 a.m. I don't know. Does Gatlinburg start? Hey, Gatlinburg really don't start at 8 a.m. either. It's I mean you get the people you get you get the gung ho people that are I'm gonna have pancakes and it's gonna be early in the morning and some of the lines will get fairly long over here on the parkway. I think it's the only thing that's open before 9 a.m. or the pancake Yeah, places. most everything else is not going to happen until 10-ish. Uh, most of the shops are going to open up and things like that. But if you're after pancakes, by all means, I love pancakes myself and I just don't know that I would uh, I would endure some of the crowd and, and early morning for those pancakes. But uh, I, mean, I could go for some right now, and I guess it's early morning, so we'll call that we'll call that good. Uh, but yeah, not a whole lot happens here. If you're downtown Gatlinburg and you're doing the street side parking because it is allowed up until 9 a.m., mm -hmm. just remember to come and after you get that belly full of pancakes. Remember to move your car because we're going to need all four lanes after nine, and that's about the only reason I'm over here at that hour. Mm. But anyway. Um, we're gonna we're gonna scoot back on over and maybe try to catch some Z's. I guess there's we made it to at least the gas oh, station. We made it to the gas station. Good Hopefully luck, fella. He doesn't take out the pump there. Oh my goodness, they're calling us again. Okay, so the outlaws. We we, we said this guy was he was a little a little uh, worried about the situation, and, and we thought that maybe he was uh, um he was a little weird. I guess you could say. He kept talking about the outlaws were after him and then as we're coming home we get to thinking about this and of course Kristen's in true fashion she's she's googling and <laughs> she google searched the Ocala outlaws are there outlaws in Ocala and then it comes up with this whole biker gang that uh, are pretty bad people they they, they story sounded bad we won't make assumptions allegedly <laughs> <laughs> anyway there was talks of murder and and uh some big uh, biker gang in ocala and they were called the outlaws well that's where this guy left and uh he left ocala and he had his motorcycle with him so maybe it's uh, maybe it's not too far-fetched i don't know we <laughs> I just took it as uh, he's he's just being a little weird because he just kept saying that you know the outlaws are are out to get him and then when he handed me his credit card he said uh, I hope there's money in there the outlaws might have drained my bank account and uh, like I said we, we were talking about the dry ice uh, the outlaws put dry ice up here he was saying they messed with his GPS too and the outlaws messed with my GPS everything that he said had to do with the outlaws in Ocala. So if you guys are handy with Google, like Kristen, um, <laughs> you might you might look that up. The outlaws in Ocala. But don't poke the bear. Yeah, don't poke the bear. Yeah. Don't touch the poo. So if it, don't don't do it. If the outlaws are looking for this guy, yeah, just he's, leave him be. Yeah. Just, just he's doing his thing. He's going somewhere else. <laughs> maybe maybe New York. I'm not sure. Maybe place in California. Yeah, maybe it's someplace else. I don't know where he's going. He's going somewhere else. <laughs> so, yeah, if, if you want to do some research and look at that stuff, there was there was quite the read on uh, on the outlaws in Ocala and some of the things that they had uh, allegedly done. 
But uh, sounds like, uh, I mean, it's a typical motorcycle gang, I guess. Bad things happen when you, you uh, one, one group rides a Harley and maybe the other guy has a Honda Shadow and they don't like him. I don't know. I don't know what he had. A, it was a Harley in his. I don't have any idea. But maybe he's doing the right thing by getting away. He's getting out of here. Yeah. Biker gang. I'm not <laughs> joining a biker gang. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, Whatever. You'd be the leader. No. I'm going home. <laughs> no biker gangs for me. Nope. I've got a, I've got a Honda Grom. <laughs> if anybody wants to join my gang. Your Grom gang. My Grom gang. It's it's 125 cc's of pure pleasure, and uh, <laughs> if you guys haven't seen uh, pictures of my uh, Honda Grom, hey Nate's got one too. <laughs> Nate's in the gang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's way too late. It's it's now 3:30 in the morning, and I'm talking about motorcycle gangs and Honda Groms and Ocala. The Ocala Outwalls. Outwalls. Yeah. See, I don't even know what's going on. My mind's <laughs> playing. Anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Take it for what it is. At the very least, it's a uh, it's a pretty cool story. See you next time. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are Ski Mountain, and uh, we've got a Ram 1500, I believe it is. I hope it's just a 1500. Uh, somebody ran him off the road. I think I see him up here. Somebody block the traffic. Like. Anyway, hopefully we can get them uh, pulled back. It's super busy today. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Should be a duty. Uh -huh. I think we brought the wrong truck. Probably. Okay, it's not as bad as what I thought it was when we pulled up. They do have two wheels still on the road. I mean, we try to get it away from. We'll have to tow him. From this stuff. Uh, we need to get the front end kind of up in the air and over. If I, I'm afraid if I drag it too much. That front tire's off the rim. I'll be dragging a bunch, but it definitely needs to come up on the front end. So. Um, I'll get the front tow hook.
if I set my parking brake.
Yeah, you can steer that way just a little. We're good. We're on. You just want me to stay in here while you look at it so I can put it in neutral. Yeah, yeah, yeah so we we'll just go neutral. Okay. Then we clear traffic. Gotcha. Yeah, they'll have to pull the Yukon down past that second driveway. Great. Just a little piece of it. Is it the rim? The wheel? The rim's right there. Oh, uh, just the outside ring of it. I mean, I don't know how much of it you guys will want for insurance purposes, but the insurance company likes to have everything if you guys are making a claim. <laughs> It's 
settle into place and it shouldn't have. We're going to come down with it, maybe? Yeah, maybe if I come down, it'll... It'll do something. I don't know that strap was doing anything. That strap was doing absolutely nothing. Here for looks. It looks good, though. Looks good. <laughs> Here the bead on this tire is gone. Yeah, it, uh... Pretty much. I'm gonna be looking for some stock tires to get home, I would guess. I don't know. I guess he did this. So he said that he took his eyes off the road for one second, ended up off the edge there, and then it just, those ditches will just eat a truck. And then he said he fought it and fought it and he had it in four wheel drive and he was trying to get it trying to get it uh, out of the ditch before low and caused this damage here. up his sexy ram bed sides. Jerry's been, Jerry's been in the bush. Words of wisdom? I'm not very wise though, so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys, we got that ram back to the lot. You know, I, I think that that's the, the best situation for us to go back to the lot because he's going to have to make some phone calls and figure out if he can get a tire ordered and a rim ordered and, and then if they've got that stuff then we'll tow it to that location instead of towing it to one they don't have it going and getting it towing it to a different one until he finds out who anyway that's why it's back at the lot and uh, we got it secured there but I just wanted to talk a little bit about that again here is another perfect situation of weight on the tow truck um, now I can't say this with a hundred percent certainty but um, I'm gonna guess that because he said he started way up the mountain there and uh, from the time the phone call dispatched to us to come help him and the time that we got there was probably 20 minutes, I'd say. Probably. Um, but in that 20 minutes is when 100% of that damage occurred, I guarantee it, because he tried to come down and thought that, you know, he put it in four low and he could go down and, and get out of that. Well, it, it, ended up, it ended up being he went down the entire length of that, uh, wash out drop off there and scrape the suspension the whole way down through there and then hit those big rocks and busted the wheel and um, I mean just a whole mess of stuff and if uh, if it just wait just be patient and wait and 
uh, we could have pulled it right up out of there and I bet he'd be driving it home. Just something to think about. Like I said, it doesn't always happen. I promise you that. There's, there's plenty of times that we get phone calls and they'll say, you know, I'm going to cancel that tow truck. You know, I'm sorry that you're five minutes away, but we, uh, we wallered around. That was the last, that was last night, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It was a, it was a Mercedes or something like that. I was able to waller around and I got up out of there, so I don't need you anymore. And you know, sometimes that works for you and sometimes it don't. And this is one of the times that it don't. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you got anything else to add to that? I was just thinking, you know, if you go off the ditch, go off the road into the ditch and you're, you know, within your hometown, your home county, you know, go ahead and try to get it out if you think you're able to, you know, but you're four to six hours away from home. That's your transportation to get back and forth. You don't know anybody, you know, um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know, maybe be a little bit more cautious about, you know, <laughs> takes fewer risks. Yeah. Any of my, uh, any of my people that watch the channel that know, know me and have grew up with me or anything like that uh, Nate can uh, Nate's <laughs> towing over there can uh, verify this we, we used to we used to have these big off-road rigs and we would drive them you know sometimes all the way up to like Attica Indiana uh, we'd go to Redbird and all these big state parks we would drive these off-road rigs that you know we spent countless hours getting ready and and uh, we would wheel them and bash them all day long in hopes that we were going to drive it home at the end of the day so I guess that's kind of what this reminds me of is uh is a situation like that you know you, you come on vacation and you tear up your car and you expect that you can still limp it home and, and it, there's been times that that I well I don't know not very many I think you've made it home every time I mean you've stayed up all night and put new things things yeah, yeah. If, it might have it might have taken me 12 hours to to make it road worthy to get it back home but spend a couple hours prying on the tire with a screwdriver to change out tire <laughs> uh, but we made it happen guys those were the fun times you guys uh if you guys knew me back in the day we were quite the troublemakers <laughs> we would uh we'd go and that was that was the thing you know we'd just spend we'd spend countless hours in the garage tweaking and tuning on our off-road rigs to go spend a saturday or a sunday that's usually what it was, a Saturday or Sunday, and we'd go wheel and tear them up to bring them back home to the garage and try again. And uh, we had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun. I do miss that. And um, I'll see if I can find some pictures. I, yeah, we've got some crazy stuff, man. We've yeah, we'll see if we can pin some pictures up of some of our younger excursions. <laughs> Seems like a lifetime ago, but it really wasn't. You know, it wasn't that long ago. We take the kids with us, Kendra. And, Coven, they'd be bouncing around in the back of <laughs> whatever we, uh, and uh, <laughs> it was just fun. Foot's tomb comes to mind. <laughs> so, um, you know, back in our hometown, Bedford, Indiana, there was this, it was called Foot's tomb. Look it up, Google search it. Bedford, Indiana. Foot with tomb. an E at the end. It was a guy. Yeah, he it died. was a guy. He got, he, yeah, they got a whole tomb memorial. But right at the entrance, you would go down to where his, his grave was and there was uh there was a trail that kind of shot off so hey it, you know it got called foot's tomb and, and we had a whole trail system back in in these woods and we would go camp and uh we would wheel all day camp at night and uh, there was there was countless hours to be a uh, fun to be had back there and we and we uh, we had all of them we used all of them up <laughs> But it was fun, you know, guys. We we had our our CBs on, and we'd all venture out and try to get stuck or tear something up and follow each other. It was it was just a good time. Uh, but yeah, check that one out. I don't even know if I mean I'm sure the tomb's still there, but I don't know if you can even get access to the trail systems back there anymore. But uh, once again, Nate can uh, can verify that. Loads of fun. Anyway, we're on Bookertown Road, and we are headed back to the shop see what I can get into there. I've got an air compressor that I need to wire up and, and get functioning. Uh, gotta have air. So stick around, stay tuned. Got more coming your way.